the bone of our body. Please, I want to count. I'm sorry, give me a chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Dog Chalk is here for another exciting, entertaining and educative episode of Paul TV's Trivia. Let's get down to it. I want to know if there is any difference between carbohydrates and carbon dioxide. Is there? And of course, are you familiar with the coat of arms, the Nigerian coat of arms? How many animals do we have on the Nigerian coat of arms? Do you know? Somebody knows. I'll find that first. Let's go. Let me know. How many bones they this our body now? As we be adults, human, how many bones they are our body? You mean all the bodies and the skeleton of the body? The bones of our body. Ah, <laughs> you have finished me. I'm free to count. I can count. The bone of our body. Please, I want to count. I'm sorry, give me a chance. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven. We have more than 30, 37. I'm going to get many bones, even many veins. So, you know, bone, you walk with vein also. You understand? They walk bone together. and vein. They walk together. Without vein, there's no bone. Without bone, there's no vein. So we can't count the vein. You understand? So that is the reason. Can you count the bone? Mm, not really, but you can. You understand? You can just like with it. I'm not a scientist that can count it. You yeah, understand? But when I told my name, my joint, I can feel my that it's still working perfect. So how many you predict? Mm, at least it's more than 36. <laughs> I'm not a doctor. Well, I feel like I said they're teachers for school. <laughs> I do not do biology now. <laughs> That's not my course. What would be your course? <laughs> Electric engineer. If you, if you can ask me about wire, uh -huh. Bob. Uh -huh. What you concern businessman say how many bones go there for anybody? How you go take stand say your business if you don't get bone? Ah, bone there but I know if you can't time. One na leg, one na hand, which other? Ah, no, no, ah, too much. We are not doing biology here, yeah, but... For this one, you don't need to go back. You get body now, so you go know. <laughs> you go know how many bones you get. How many bones do I get? You reach 50. I don't know. If you say you reach 50. How many teeth do I get? How many teeth do you get? 32. Probably, I might not remember because I'm not a science student. We have 209 bones. 209? Yeah. Are you sure about your answer? Very, very sure. So what is sugar cane human? That's the next trivia question. What is sugar cane? What category, or what class of food does sugar cane fall under? Watch out for it. It's coming. This thing got me thinking of life. So you sabi carbohydrate, Abi? Mm, yep. You sabi carbon dioxide? Mm -hmm. Difference there between the two? Different day, different day. You know, say different day, energy day, you know, this thing, and start all those things. But they are different, sure. So, what do you mean between between carbohydrates and carbon dioxide? Carbohydrates, no, nah, they, they, they get that one from food, you know. So, carbon dioxide? Ah. The carbon, the, dioxide. carbon dioxide. That one, they come out from uh, exhaust, now, not be motor. Carbohydrates. Hmm. And it is some food we eat. Come on, dioxide, Nko. We are not in school. Carbohydrates are starchy foods that we eat. For example, the end products, okay, let me not use end products. Um, rice, yam, um, sweet potatoes, those are carbohydrates. Then carbon dioxide, these are toxins that emit from vehicles, fumes that emit from vehicles. Uh, what do you call that? Um, generators and stuff. Yeah, I, I guess that's basically it. Primary science. Primary school, primary science. Primary school science. Yeah, yeah. There are different carbon dioxide and carbohydrates. 
When I was teaching when I was in secondary school I'm about the biology, in biology you have carbohydrates and, and carbon dioxide. The carbohydrate is giving us energy and then the one that can give us energy, that's what I know about the carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is starchy food. Why carbon dioxide is uh, we breathe in the oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. Carbohydrate have to do with starch. That's monosaccharide, disaccharide and polysaccharides. And when you convert it, you have glucose. Why carbon carbon dioxide CO2 or CO4 have to do with gases, gases substances. People are learning to say I don't know when they don't know and not trying to form like they do. Okay now, you sabi Nigerian coat of arms. I know Sabi. You know Sabi coat of arms? I know Sabi. You never hear of him before? I didn't hear him, but I know Sabi. What do you hear about him? I hear about him, but I know Sabi sing. You know Sabi sing? Yeah, I know Sabi sing. So coat of arms is a song? Yeah, a song. It's national anthem, but I know I don't I know Sabi sing. Mm. The coat of arms is like a pledge, where you have the, the horse, yeah, the eagle and then the green which represents agriculture. Yeah, most, uh, most of our uniforms actually have it, especially the armies, the cadets, some of the security agencies, their uniforms al always have that coat of arm things. New one and old one. For me, uh, coat of arm, which they use no country, say this thing that they are symbol. The Nigeria coat of arms, she animal did it. Hey, Nigeria an animal did it now. How many animals? That animal is two now. Which one? Which one? Na horse. Na horse with the two. No, as a two horse. I see what is there. Or you want two horse and one ego at the top. What does the ego represent? Super ego. What does the horse represent? No, they represent the kinship that rides. You know, those that are famous. That are the one that rides on the horse. People that are famous. Yes. Like celebrities? <laughs> Not celebrities. Every, even celebrities are famous. Even our leaders are famous. Even you are famous. Even I am famous. I'm famous. So Nigeria is famous. We're famous. We're right. famous. So the horses represent the fame. Of the, of the country. The horses represent? Famosity of the country. Which is uh, peace, unity. Peace, love and unity. Now Nigeria is like this because of we, we, we don't have punishment system. Mm -hmm. Even Lord Lugard attested to it in his book, Dual Mandates, that he, he described Nigerians as, as a people that love power. So whereby there's no superior power to check and balance, yeah. power is bound to be abused. True. The only person that will not abuse power is God, because he is faith. Even when we become unfaithful, he remains faithful, because he's God. So that's the only person that cannot abuse power. But another person needs checks and balance. The problem in Nigeria is that there's no checks and balance. Check out how governors behave. <laughs> okay, well, so cats eat meat. Cats, they eat meat, and you know cats eat rats. I don't know. I, eat, I don't know if they eat meat. Yeah, well, their food consists of mostly like fleshy, meaty stuff. But, uh, I'm not. I'm not very certain about that, but I know that they eat rats. Okay, so cats eat meat, and they are referred to as carnivores, just the same way goats eat grass, and they are referred to as herbivores. Herbivores. Yeah. Who, who says they are referred to as herbivores? Goats are mammals. So mamas, mammals can be herbivores? I have not heard. Well, I went to secondary school. I don't think that it falls into that category of carnivore, whatever. I've never heard of the word herbivores. But I know they're mammals because they have four, they have four stomachs, yes. So they have a process through which their food process goes through. And because they're, they're just like cows, they're just like rams as well and sheep. So they're referred to as mammals. I know them as mammals, I don't know, probably because of the mammary gland, but I don't know if they're herbivores. Okay, so in this herbivore, um, carnivores category, what would humans fall under? Um, I don't know, humans are humans. I've forgotten the terms, they thought I was in secondary school, yes, but I don't know, I just know that we're species and we're humans, so as a human we're species, we as human beings we're referred to as a higher intellectual level of you know the ape category. We have we have monkeys, we have the baboons, 
of course, and then we're humans. So I think we're the more advanced apes. Let me use that word. So yeah, we're not as hairy as the baboons and the monkeys and all of that. We have a high intellectual sense. We're more modern. We're not as primitive as the apes like the monkeys and the baboons. And yeah, so I would say we're more intellectually higher. You know, contrary to popular belief, there are only two animals on the Nigerian coat of arms. We have the eagle, which represents strength, and two horses by the side, which represent dignity. Just two, not three. And of course, it's not one bone in the body, it's not one general bone from head to toe. It's not two, it's not less than ten, it's not even less than a hundred. It's 206 bones in the adult body. You can't count all of them, but there's 206. I mean, if you do your research, you know. I don't lie to you guys. I'm your girl. I'll be your person. All right, guys. This has been Paul's TV's Trivia. I'm your girl, Dark Chuck. Don't forget to drop your comments in the section below. And keep sending me messages. I love them.